Hey guys, welcome back. Giff here again today. NVIDIA's resizable bar is here and ready to play and coming to a host of games near you. Do you know how to install it? I'll explain next. Let's get into it. Wait, wait, wait. I know, I hear you guys already. What's resizable bar, GIF? Do I want resizable bar? H how do I get it? Okay, first things first. There's a video linked up above here. It has all the who, what, when, and how. Watch that one first if you're not up on resizable bar. First, you're going to have to have certain hardware requirements met. Secondly, then you can proceed to download certain updates. And that's what we're going to be talking about today is if you've already got the hardware in your system, what are the downloads you need to get to go ahead and enable resizable bar? First things first, you're almost certainly going to need to update to one of the more recent BIOS updates from your motherboard manufacturer. In this system, I have an MSI motherboard, so I'm going to go ahead to the MSI support page and go right here to downloads and click on that. From the first drop down, I'm going to go ahead and tell it I'm looking for motherboards. I'm going to tell it I'm looking for the AMD platform. Then I'm going to search until I find my motherboard, the Meg B550 Unify. And here I see the latest BIOS updates for my particular motherboard. First thing to realize, this is not a how to update your motherboard BIOS video. If you want to know about that, leave it down in the comments. I'll see what I can do. You need to be careful if you've not updated your motherboard before. If you lose power or don't complete the update to the BIOS, oftentimes you can break your motherboard. So realize that ahead of time and at least get a good explanation of what you're doing before you set off to go ahead and update the BIOS. The second thing we need to make sure we update is the V BIOS on the GPU. Now I have an EVGA 3090 GPU, so I needed to make sure I had EVGA Precision X1 on my computer. I've already updated the V BIOS on this GPU. However, prior to updating right here, I had an option to go ahead and do the update to the latest V BIOS. Also down here for resizable bar is that it was not enabled at that point. So I had to go ahead and update that right here in Precision X1. Please keep in mind, if you have a different brand of motherboard or a different brand of GPU, you'll need to download the software from that company's support website. The next thing you need to do is make sure you update your NVIDIA drivers to the most current set that dropped last night. We're going to go right here. We're going to click on check for updates. Now, I've already got the most current one on this computer. However, if I did not right here, I would have an option to go ahead and install those drivers onto this computer. So you need to do that. You need the most current drivers, the most current V BIOS for your GPU, and you also need the most current BIOS for your motherboard. Once you have updated those three pieces of software, we're going to need to go into the BIOS of the computer itself and most likely turn on resizable bar inside of the BIOS. Guys, keep in mind here, I'm inside the BIOS now of an MSI motherboard. If you have a different brand of motherboard or you have an older BIOS, it may look similar, but also different. So things may not be exactly the same as what you're looking at right here. So for me, the first thing I'm going to do is click on settings right here. The next thing I'm going to do is click on advanced. Then I'll be going right here to PCI subsystem settings. Then I'll go ahead and click on resizable bar support. Then of course, I'm going to click on enable. And now you can see resizable bar support has been enabled. In my BIOS, it also enabled above 4G memory cryptocurrency mining, and that's fine. I'm not using it, but it's okay that it's on. Then generally speaking, the easiest way to save anything inside of a BIOS is to hit F10. And it's going to give you the option to save your changes. Usually you're going to want to say yes to that. Now that we got all of our updates done, the way we can check is we can come back to our home screen. We can right click on it. We can go ahead and open up the NVIDIA control panel. We're going to want to come all the way down here to the bottom corner to system information and click on that. And this is where we're specifically going to come to verify that we've in fact done everything we need to do to get resizable bar up and running. You can see right there on the resizable bar tab, it's indicating yes. Before I did this, it was definitely saying no. I double checked to make sure before I went in myself and toggled it on in the BIOS. Okay, guys, now remember, if you have questions about what resizable bar actually is, go ahead and watch the other video that's linked up in the cards or down in the description about the whole thing about what it is and what it can do for you. If you have questions about what we're talking about today, 
which are the updates to the BIOS, the V BIOS, or the drivers, or how to actually turn it on in your BIOS once you're done, go ahead and leave them in the comments of this video. That way I can help you the best possible way. As always, thanks so much for watching the video if you've made it this far. And if you want to hear more about PC gaming hardware and tech, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn notifications on. That way you can find your way back for the next informative video. Until next time, guys, good hunting and gif out.